Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet Valentine's card. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's, you can have this for any occasion. But I've added an envelope on the front here to pop a love letter inside. But it will also hold a gift card really nicely as well. I just thought it was a fun way, something a little bit different to give this Valentine's. This is five by seven size. You can see it will all fold down like so and then it opens up. And you can see you've got these cutout sections. I have some other similar tutorials already on the channel, so I will link those throughout and also at the very end. And if you enjoy the tutorials that I share, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you click the little bell next to it, that way you'll be notified every time I upload something new. So let's get into the tutorial. So just quickly run through the supplies. I pulled out some old sets here uh, for the little gift tag. It was the Dovecraft Paper Posies stamp set. And then for the Be My Valentine, it was a hobby base Sweet Valentine's set. And then the papers I'm using are The Scent With Love by Katie Skilton. I'm going to be using this for most of my Valentine's makes. There's also this lovely stamp set that's part of the collection that you can buy. And I've used that on some of the cards that I've shared recently. You've also got the floral stamp set there. And then I'm using this envelope die. But you can make the envelope. You can use your envelope punch board. You can make them from scratch. But if you like things like this, it's a very cute little set. And I'll show you that again in a moment. So first of all, I'm going to show you the template that I've put together. This is what I shared during the Facebook Live, which is where I made that first one. So you want to cut yourself a piece of 10 by 7 cardstock, which I've got here in the pink. So you can see with my template here, along the 10 inch side, you want to score it two and a half and seven and a half. Those go all the way down and that's going to form your gatefold. So if I fold that one, I fold them that way. Okay, you see you've got your gatefold. Next, still along that 10 inch side, you want to score at four and six, but you only want to come down one and a half inches. And then you can flip the card and do the same. And you want to again come down one and a half. So four inches. And then I can just roughly see one and a half there. And I just bring the stylus down just so it's slightly above. Because you can join it up again later. And then at six. And then just flip the card. Again, repeat. Four and six down to one and a half. And if you flip that back over, you can then just go back over those score lines there. Okay, so we've got this score line, this score line, and then these four smaller score lines. This red part, ignore that I went right through the middle there, you won't, you'll leave that blank. So you're just cutting it like a C shape, just there, and then a back to front C on this side. Like I said, ignore that I've put that right the way through there. You can see here, I've kind of scored them first, just to show you how that would look, but you can go straight in and cut this part. And I've got my cutting knife here. And first of all, I'm going to cut this here. So if you want to mark down one and a half from this two and a half one, and then you just want to cut across the bottom of this score line here. OK, so I've just cut across here. I'm then going to come down and do the same. So I've just cut across here and then I'm going to join those two cut lines. You'll end up trimming away the score line. We'll tidy all that up in a bit. So you should have something like this and then you can see already if you fold that down, we've got that fold there. So I'm just going to repeat that again on this side. Okay, and again, I can just fold that one in. So you can see now how that all pops out. You can also use your trimmer. You don't need to use your cutting knife and ruler. You can just place that down and line it all up. So you want to make sure that these outer score lines are valley folds and then these four here are all mountain folds. And you'll see then that that will all fold like so. But I just want to tidy up these edges here because I can see some of the score lines. So keep it folded like this. Because those sides are overhanging, you can pop it in your trimmer and, and not worry that you're going to cut anything else. So I'm just keeping this all straight and flush along the top here. And then I can just make sure that that's nice and straight. And then again, like so. So it's just a tiny little bit. It's just mainly the score line that I've just taken off there. Okay, so now we can start to decorate everything. So I'm going to open it back up again. So I've got my mats and layers here. So it's all using the papers from that pad. So these here are two pieces of two and a quarter by six and three quarters in the silver card and then two by six and a half in the pattern paper. 
you'll then want two pieces of one and three quarters by one and a quarter in silver and then one and a half by one in pattern paper and then i've got four pieces make sure i get the hearts up the right way and those are going to go in each corner and they are one and a quarter squared in the silver and then one by one squared in the pattern and then for the middle i've got this one here you'll want a piece of four and three quarter by three and three quarter for the silver and then four and a half by three and a half for the pattern paper and that one's going to go in the middle and then you might want to build up a nice sentiment you might have a big birthday number going in the middle it's entirely up to you so i'm going to stick all those down So I'll stick everything down so now I want to use the little envelope here so like I said you can make these using your envelope punch board you can make them from scratch or if you've got similar dies that make these envelopes I think they're really handy and they are quite sweet so I'm just going to go back over the score lines I always like to do this after they've been die cut just to, it, because I'm using this coated card this mirrored card I just think it's going to reduce the risk of any cracking just to really embed those score lines it is going to obviously add more bulk because it's a card stock most envelopes you would use a lightweight paper but i just want to show you that you can use card and it does look really nice so again just go over that one any marks i can wipe those off in a moment and then just fold everything in like so and i'm pretty sure yeah no cracking there so that's good and then i'm just going to fold this all in like so how sweet is that i'm going to use my strong red tape here and i'm just going to run two strips down the side where you've got that flat or the corner where you've got that flat piece and then just fold those sides in and just bring that one up like so okay so next i want to add my wax seal so you can i've got a tutorial showing all this so i'll link it now but you can make your wax seals in advance okay i've got some here in this tin so i just add like a foam pad on the back and then stick it down or you can make it from scratch which i'm going to do quickly now but also in that stamp set which i shared here which is part of the paper pad collection you've got a little wax seal there so you could stamp that on um, some coloured card and use your embossing powders and that would look really sweet as well whilst i've got my wax melting i'm just going to rub off these little marks here so i just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just spray that onto some paper towel be careful on some texture cards because it might take the coating off so test it on a bit of scrap first but i'm sure this one's okay okay so my wax is all melted i've got my silicone mat here because i want to be able to make sure i can lift this back off when the wax is um, set over the edge there so i'm going to go for a pinky color here and i'm just going to pour that more towards the top here just so i've got a nice circle and then my stamp here says with love so i'm just going to place that down in the middle and i just want that to slightly come off the edge there and then i'm just going to leave that now okay so when it's ready it should just when you tap it it should just fall off which it has so now you just peel that off and you'll see with love on the front there and then i'm just going to add a hook and loop fastening behind there okay so i've just added the hook and loop pair there and then just close that up so the other side can stick there we go so we've got a little working envelope there but it looks like it's been sealed so next i just need to pop it all on the card so i'm going to have this one in the middle here i've then stamped and heat embossed in white the be my valentine and the little tag there which i will write on and that's going to go here and i've got these little charms which i just i've had for years so i just find them in charity shops and craft shops and stuff that one says made with love and that's just a little heart and then i'm going to use the pink and blue twine which i'm going to just wrap underneath or around there you can see how that's all attached 
and then I'm going to use some foam pads and stick that onto there and then I've got some enamel dots there and I'm just going to add might not need them on this one actually because it's quite a busy paper but you can see I just thought it looked quite nice when the card's closed but you see this detail here as well so I might add it I'm not sure but I'm going to pop it on high speed get this all finished and then I'll show you it when I'm done And there's the finished card. I think the mirrored card for the envelope looks really nice. I added these little enamel dots in the corner. You can still see them. And I just like that when it's closed, you can see that extra detail. You can see the little kind of cluster there and the bow. You've got the little metal charms. And then your working envelope for you to pop your gift card or your love letter in there. So I think it's sweet. Really, really lovely style. Like I said, I have done very similar before just slightly different sizes so i will link those and i'll have them popping up again now so you can have a look see if you prefer those ones so as always thank you for watching i will link as much of the product that i've used in the description box below and i'll be back again very soon with more fun tutorials take care and i'll see you then bye